Hi everyone, Mark here for our daily devotional. I don't know how you've been finding it as we've been going through this section of the Sermon on the Mount, but I found it really quite challenging as we have seen Jesus teach his followers not to get angry, not to even look at someone lustfully, not to lie, to love your enemy, and today, chapter 5, verse 48, as we come to the end of this section of the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus sums it all up, he says, Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, that is an incredibly challenging verse, is it not? Especially for any of us here who might be thinking, Well, I, I don't have a temper. I don't have a porn problem. I tell the truth. I seek to love everybody. I'm doing pretty well actually when it comes to the Sermon on the Mount. Well then what do you do with this verse? Because here's the standard of true righteousness and that standard is perfection. Perfect thoughts, perfect desires, perfect actions all of the time, every day of your life. It is impossible to keep the Sermon on the Mount in your own strength by your own moral effort. And so it is quite right for us to feel the challenge of these verses and to have our pride humbled or any sense of self-achievement shattered. And feel the challenge of it. That is good, that is right. But also, we must not forget the encouragement of this section of the Sermon on the Mount, because the fact that Jesus is even telling his followers these commands shows that there must be some way for them to keep them. And in his strength, they can, depending not on themselves, but on the power of the Holy Spirit at work in them. So when it comes to this section of the Sermon on the Mount, let's feel both the challenge and the encouragement here. In our own strength, impossible. But in God's strength, increasingly possible. So let me pray that for us now. Father God, please would you help us to feel both the challenge and encouragement of this section of the Sermon on the Mount. In our own strength, impossible. Please would that humble us before you. But in your strength, increasingly possible, so help us to depend on you more and more so that we may love others more and more, even our enemies. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.